What have we got here then? Right, well, this is a 1958 NI Series 1. Probably known as a frame ring because of that grill on the back. And the yeah. fact that the engine actually grooves yeah, through that grill now. Yeah. Just so looking at the, the pack system of it, and the glass tracks till June 1974, so yeah. it would have been 1973. When, when, where has it been? In a barn up in the fens. Hmm. So, not for all that time maybe, but certainly. Yeah, still, for, it's got some uh, muck on it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, with these four mats, which I've got in the way. <laughs> and a goal here today is uh, see if we can get it running. Hmm. Someone's already unbolted the floorboards. Wasn't new, is it? It made me think that it probably had some mechanical issues before they stopped using it. <laughs> yes. They look like they've been unbolted for some time. So that's the first plan of action. Well, the first plan of action, I think, is obviously easy to seize. Hmm. And being sanded at that time, it's quite a good possibility. It's actually something happening. Yeah. It's, a, it's the flywheel. Flywheel's moving. The flywheel's moving. Yeah. So that's not just the flat bed. So it's not seized. So that's actually. That's good. The two things it really needs to run is a spark and some fuel. Yeah. Um, so, HT. Just, uh, these are these. These I've put my thumb on them. Let's see if there's anything. Nothing. Nothing. So it will need to have a spark before it runs. Hmm. As you said, someone will be playing around with it, so it's still running points. Probably corroded and closed up. Mm. So uh, that will be the, I guess, the first course of action is to yeah, sort that out. You should just turn the handle. So there could be some interesting little artifacts in there. Yeah. I've got a big bunch of keys here. Yeah. One might fit. Where did you get all these keys from? That's a Honda key. A Honda key? And it's fit, it's gone straight in. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, look. Little Honda logo on there. <laughs> so not the most security conscious. Look, we've got a little time capsule in here. A Triffa bulb. Wow. Triffa was lit. Do they still make them? Well, I don't think so, but I did see some. I'm not shot. Mm. That's all right, which is brilliant. Mm. Not quite sure what that does. Probably the drain plug. Is that a multi tool? A prop stand. That's a random key. A champion N5 plug. Mm. Seen better days, I'm not sure <laughs> give one a go. And how is this? Saddle. Looks like a hacking <laughs> table <laughs> Maybe the guy used it to cover his seats. Really stop yeah, it it's wet, yeah. A bit of oh, we've got some money. What? Two shillings. <laughs> Two shillings. <laughs> from, <laughs> from 1950. Oh, yeah. It's a bit rusty. Petrol, petrol money. Yeah, that was a gallon of petrol back in 1973. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not that old. Might have come off the tour rail. But that's not, that's all, this is all very interesting. But it's not actually yeah. helping us getting it running. No. Putting this back in there. What about the bulb, Dad? Oh. Don't forget that. 
Two shillings. And put that in your pocket there. Yeah. Imagine where this has been standing with them floor mats. Look at the paint starting to lift off. Oh. Just done. What are you going to do about that? Well. Let's have to look. In fact, he's running. No. Just have to I put some new we... put, put some new floor mats on it. Hide well, it. We're not needing that. I, I think more likely. Um, Thing, it? It's a little ponder, it? Yeah. Put your glasses on then. Yeah. I reckon anything you'll fit it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Very secure, it comes. Yeah. No. no. Ah. Oh. <laughs> right, you've got to be careful because if I lock that, yeah. which it seems to work, I've done it before, and they won't they won't unlock. Oh, really? The same key. It was the same key. Mm. So we've I'm got not, no need. We've got no need to lock it. Have we? No. Really? So my mm. next thing is start getting hands dirty. Yep. Investigating. If you want to film the flywheel, yep. decided that actually the clutch is slipping quite badly. Mm. The flywheel's only turn, kick starts moving and it's not really turning. Yeah. So it's the clutch slipping. It could be the woodruff key's gone or something like that. Uh, if I. Oh! <laughs> Hasn't done because it's, it's the clutch arm seized. Are you penetrating to me? Yeah, that's turning it over. It wasn't. Oh, that's handy. Look, oh. it's nice custom exhaust on there. That the kick bump. starts <laughs> rubbing on as well. Yeah. But it actually, sound like it did something. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah, spark, little, yeah. Little spark, a little spark, a little jolt. Yeah. So let's take the spark plug out. Yeah. Looks like another champion in five in here. Okay. And pack Running a little bit rich. Hmm. What a penetrating spray we've got there. Hmm. Pure lean. Huh? Thousand and one yeah, with PTF. Yeah. Only the best. Hopefully. Right, you can hear it's actually turning up. So it's all positive so far. Oh, we've got. Oh no. So, so 
if we can find another spark, fresh spark plug. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Original so battery. I don't suppose it will take a charge now. <laughs> don't suppose it will. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a newish plug which came out. Is there, can you see a spark there? I can't. I uh, can't, go. Yeah, I don't think we've got enough of a spark to bridge the gap, so we're probably going to have to work with the points. But before we do that, we can try changing the HT cap, which yeah. is obviously quite old, changing the HT lead, which is very brittle. Yeah. And the points will be the next course of action. Last course of action. Yeah. yeah. The jolt of the HT lead, so we're going to have to do some more investigating in that department. What would be interesting is the fuel tank area. So we've got the original uh, recommendations here. Let's use BP, Enerjol, two stroke oil. What's it going to be like? Oh, oh, gunk. There is some. Well, that smell was amazing of off fuel. Mm. There is still fuel in there. But there's also like some sort of organism living in there with some sort of <laughs> sludge. Hmm, some sort of sludge. Yeah. So yuck. That's the tank will definitely need uh, <laughs> get taken off and taken out and really clean. clean. Yeah. This you can see this is an, an early series one because the breather on the later Lambretters mm. they had a hole in the cap. This is a tube. Oh, yeah. Which runs down the middle of the tank and comes out the bottom. And just dumps fuel over the back tyre. This this tube here it actually comes from the bottom of the air fuel, oh. like an air intake assembly. Oh. Obviously, you've got the fuel tap there. Will it turn? Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Do we actually want to let all that no. gunge into the car? No. Not that well, the car won't need cleaning out anyway. Got a faint spark there. Yeah. <laughs> a bit of a squirt in there. I think it's enough for it to go. No. Okay. We're going to have to investigate the electric yeah. side of it. 